The AQ situation is getting out of hand and players are pissed. What has happened to the Danger Room background fight? And also arena predictions and much, much more. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show as my chair spins the wrong way when I need to be doing this intro of for Wednesday. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Now we've got lots to go over in the show, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all, especially because we've got a lot of content to drop between now and especially the end of the year, covering so many different things from the gifting event, big announcements this Friday, so make sure to be around for the channel because it's going to be ooh, busy with Cyber Weekend as well. And also massive thanks to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. You're on screen right now. Look at all these lovely people. And as well, those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Going to be back doing a lot of live streaming tonight. Going to be doing some Cavalier difficulty then, doing some Call of Duty Warzone with the lads. So it should be a fun old time. So yeah, thanks to those that give the Prime Gaming free sub, Tier 1 subs, Tier 2 subs, bits and donations. Thanks very much for the support on the channel. Now for the rest of the video we're going to be recording using the Q9 microphone especially because this video is very kindly sponsored by Tona. This video is sponsored by Tona and the amazing Q9 Studio USB condenser microphone. This microphone is ideal for anyone who is a gamer, is a podcaster, anything that records your voice, maybe even an aspiring streamer. It's an easy plug and play microphone that is easy to set up with your computer, laptop or console and putting the microphone together is a breeze. It took less than five minutes and the quality of the voice recording required no additional filtering, which makes it very easy to use. I used it to play Phasmophobia, which is a game that requires your voice to be heard by ghosts and it works perfectly. Right, let's go ghost hunting, which does require you to speak to the ghost, which is Carol Martinez, as well as use the spirit box to communicate with a ghost from beyond the grave. Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Oh no, 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 no. Oh good, yes. I know who, I know what it is now. It is. Because we just had uh, ghostwriting. It is a miling. Fantastic. And I also shouted at people in Call of Duty. Right, let's drop there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Damn. Oh, yes, what a shot! Yeah, we all heard that. I'm always pleasantly surprised by Tona products from the Ring Light, the other microphone we reviewed, and as well the Q9. The quality is there, and that's why they get so many positive reviews from the products they deliver. Now, there's literally so many games that you could choose to use this microphone with, whether or not you're doing a Discord call with people and you're playing something like Marvel Future Revolution, for example, or you're in a blitz or you're in some kind of competitive content, I want to give instructions to people in your party. Everyone, focus attacking Dormammu! The same could be said for Marvel Contest of Champions, which has the incursions game mode, so you can communicate with one another to say, okay, well, you go down that path and I go down this path. And it's nice because you're able to chat to someone else. So, yeah, great quality for stuff like this. And now is the best time to pick up this microphone because Black Friday deals are on. So make sure to check out the link in the description. If you want a quality microphone, various different types of things that require your voice recording, then get the Q9 condenser USB microphone. I think because it is so user friendly, it is a great option. You can have the pop filter with it as well, but I do like this kind of like studio-esque feel to it just by having it just kind of there. Feels like I'm, I'm in some kind of radio show of some kind. As I said, the link to this product is in the description down below. Also, you'll see on screen in a moment, the 10% off codes, which if you use, yeah, you get 10%. So go and use that right now for a bit of a discount. Let me just just finished by saying a massive thank you to Tona for supporting this channel ongoing and all of this was recorded using the microphone mentioned in the video. Now for the rest of the video I'm going to be recording using the Q9 microphone. Normally it would be best to use the arm but I kind of like the idea of some kind of like, I don't know, I'm some sort of reporter. Well I am doing the Marvel Contest of Champions news so yeah let's cover some Marvel Contest of Champions stuff as a reporter in the field. Uh, so yeah, like, this has been a weird month for the game. There's been 
less things that have been positive. I think the only positive that's come out this month has been the Platinum Pool events at the start of the month. They were fun. That was good. But then everything seemed to have this big decline. The decline really came in with the new month's content. A few things that slowed down pace and very specific when it came to the Cavalier difficulty uncollected when you're going up against the likes of Terex. And I know people will say there's counters to that. And I agree, there are counters to it. But what it does is it brings down the pace and also kind of odd that they that, that particular fight, that Terex fight, as well as a few others, but that one in particular did not benefit from some of the global bonuses that champions are meant to get from a specific class, which I just thought that's kind of weird. In any case, I do my final run of that tonight in the Cavalier Difficulty live stream. Expect massive announcements to next month's stuff on Friday the 26th of November, so this week. It's going to be spicy, y'all. Hopefully we can get a bit of positivity. Okay, next up, and we must discuss about this background fight. Uh, what what happened? The, the This background. As I've been doing a lot of fights in Marvel Contest of Champions, mainly questing as opposed to, say, arena. And I can't remember if it was arena I saw this most, but what happened to the danger room? It seems to be that this has been not in any great abundance when doing various fights. And, and, and players are definitely like talking about the fact that, wh where where is it? Definitely when it comes to some of the specific content where... You know, last couple of months it was there in great volume. You know, some players say, and I've only seen it in 7.2.6 uh, Grandmaster fight and every now and then in Arena. But it doesn't seem to be like the volume Show, shows up occasionally in 7.3. But yeah, it, it just like, I mean, for me, as I said, I'm not seeing it quite as much. And maybe that's, there's a reason for that not being the case. Uh, I don't know. Is anybody else kind of on, on that kind of... Uh place where they're just going like i haven't seen this in a long time put your responses in the comments section yeah now we just gotta go over all these aq matters from compensation that's coming right the way through to problems other alliances are going to be experiencing this week let's talk about it if some players and as well alliances aren't able to get through certain days because the pi shot up and the champions are just ridiculous then yeah of course it's going to be a flamingly horrible time uh, for players and they need to be compensated for it. Players between the maps of map 1 and map 6 have largely seen this being a huge change that has massively affected them and it definitely was something that felt like it wasn't communicated thus well and any kind of weekend team Kabam had posted to kind of answer this it, it just wasn't there. It's only really been at the point of Monday or maybe Tuesday I would say with a better acknowledgement on late Tuesday that this was like three days after that that Kabam were either going to deal with it or kind of like the answer was we acknowledge it and that's just the thing it's just what what what's going on is it's very as I said it's very disappointing now on Monday I mean I think I covered this and it was just a case of going like there wasn't much to report if Monday or yeah, it was Monday. The report was that, that what Kabambu says, the team is still working on it, but we'll, we'll be able to give you an update as uh, once the team has more news for us to share. It's just, it's, it's not even worth me even making a video to kind of like say they know about it. It's like, well, they're not doing anything about it. And that's a massive problem. And like yesterday, we started seeing a bit of traction to actually get response to like what's happening with compensation and other things. So Kabambu saying that, uh, hi folks, uh, the team sincerely apologize for that this has happened as they are unable to make any retroactive changes. The team will consider some compensation for the inconvenience. For now, we kindly ask that you select a different map until the team can get this issue fixed. We will let you know when the issue is resolved we apologize once again for the inconvenience we'll be back again once we have more information on the compensation and also when the issue is resolved sorry thanks again for your continued patience and understanding so this is again a very kind of like disappointing time uh, for this being dealt with especially because uh, and as kind of um, bringer of rain points out you are aware that this is also an issue for map five four three as well not just map six so your response is go try map seven eight for those affected players seriously how did you how did this go live and it's a relatively good point to, to say that because it's like well if if like the problem is in some of those lower maps you kind of go okay well we won't do map six we'll kind of like do map map 
map three or map two um, and map one but then if they've got the same issue and same problem of six stars being on it and granted i'm sure that if you are map six or do map six then you've got 565s or you've got you know champions that are six star possibly rank three and it may be your intention to go down to at least like map two map one and still be able to do it uh, but it's just a case of like it's a massive inconvenience it also means that and this again is the most crucial thing is you are not able to be as competitive to get the best rewards that you would normally be seeing the compensation package would have to represent what you what you plan to lose out as a result of doing that aq that you normally do so there's a lot of variables and a lot of factors that desperately need to be considered uh, for this. It, this is a very, very scuffy time, especially because players need that glory to then invest into getting different things. For me personally, I'm like, right, I need that tier 5 CT. Uh, I do map 7. We're fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm going for it okay. It's just, it is what it is. But then what is not what it is, is for those players that want to make gains in lower stuff. People that are doing AQ with alt accounts people that are kind of like new to the game and their experience in that alliance based format and alliance quest in particular is just again soured and sullied by the experience of this it it does boggle the mind i don't know if this should have been something as soon as day one it been noticed that the sequence be brought down because you know the rest of us therefore after day one would it be competitive enough or would it be fair, sorry, for those that uh, run lower maps? Like, it, it needed to be dealt with a lot sooner. I don't know why, as of Monday, that they didn't decide to, like, take it down. The furthest update to this, which is the one that was posted late yesterday, is that there's, there's a further update to this sequence, which is you'll find a little extra in your AQ package tomorrow as a gesture from the team. This issue is not yet resolved, but should be done before the end of the week. We'll be back to confirm when it's done. Thanks again for your patience. I don't think it should have been... I know that they're probably doing like parry and controls issue compensation, possibly. But the thing is with this is, it's so specific to the element of fairness of the competition. Because you, again, it goes back to what I just said a moment ago. If your alliance is between map, doing map 1 to map, map 6 on a 5 day sequence and is expected to always receive based on your grind a certain rank this will affect your rank because players aren't able to finish this content and they may have to drop down their uh, their map grind or go up on their map grind as well so this is again it's just like it's not it it needs to be properly looked at when it comes to the compensation matter so yeah thank you but also needs more I'm not going to say like I can guess the compensation package is going to be their normal rank rewards that they get because let's face it if it's little or a little extra it may not be exactly what you'd uh, what you'd be expecting and that's something we'll need to see later on and I'll probably cover that in the next Marvel Contest of Champions news show which is normally Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so Friday will be the next time of coverage uh, but yeah as I said like this is um this is very disappointing uh, when it comes to how this is all broken down and also the way of Kabam have dealt with it and the rate of dealing with it because it should, as I said, it should have been just brought down. Like, this is great for those that run map 7 and, map, and now map 8. You're going to continue as normal. But for those that kind of map 6 and below, this is not ideal. So it's kind of like, I don't know, pander, not pandering, but it's kind of like it's better for the small percentage rather than the larger percentage which i think is it's the wrong way of dealing with it but again it's kabam and november scuff so we look forward to december please be better and now we move on to arena predictions yes we indeed have a nice little icarus and a nice little uh, choice package of either ultron ebony more and uh war machine so that's cool let's do some predictions so the predictions i'm going with is icarus at 6 star 170 mil because i think a lot of players may want to go for him it may even be a bit more at 180 mil icarus is a five star 60 mil do be prepared to put in a little bit extra because if you look at the mr negative situation putting in a little bit more may be the best thing to do so you might want to up that by another seven another 10 mil to 70 mil selector i'm going with 45 mil because i just don't think people are that interested with war machine ebony more and uh, Ultron and the selected for a 5 star 18 mil. So that's my predictions. Very good luck, and we'll look over the results when it comes to Monday's Marvel Contest of Champions news show.
Thanks very much to Toner for sponsoring this video. Go and check it out in the link in the description. This was the Q9 USB condenser microphone. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Make sure as well to check out some other content located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video later on today, which should be a pre-buffed Hawkeye six-star video. So look out for that. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.